In this video, we're going to go over a combining containers gas problem, where you have two containers that are connected by a closed valve that once they're opened, their gases will mix. So what we're going to use this for Dalton's law of partial pressures. It states that the total pressure is going to be equal to the partial sum of the partial pressures of the gases being combined. So in this case, you have gases in container A, which are nitrogen, and B, which are oxygen. So initially, we have a volume of 5.5 liters and 3.2 atmospheres for nitrogen. And for oxygen gas container, we have 8.4 liters of space being occupied, and it has a pressure of 4.8 atmospheres. So once they mix, these gases will both be able to spread out over the total combined volume of the two containers, which in this case is 13.9 liters. So what we're going to do is treat this like a Boyle's Law problem, where we have an initial pressure and volume, and we have a final volume over which they're expanded about. We're going to determine the final pressure for each of these gases and then add them together to get the total pressure in the container. So for the nitrogen, we rearrange Boyle's Law to be P2, or the final pressure, is equal to P1, V1 over V2. Then we plug in those values. You had an initial pressure of 3.2 atmospheres, initial volume of 5.5 liters, divided by the final volume over which it's allowed to move, which is 13.9 liters. We do the same thing for oxygen. So we rearrange Boyle's Law, P2 is P1, V1 over V2. Plug in the values, 4.8 atmospheres initially, 8.4 liters of space, now divided over 13.9 liters. So for these gases, we get a final pressure of 1.3 atmospheres for the nitrogen and 2.9 atmospheres for the oxygen gas. So now we add up those final pressures to get a total pressure of 4.2 atmospheres. Now, sometimes in these problems, you aren't just given pressure and volume. You could also be given temperature, in which case you'd use the combined gas law to solve the problem. But I would also need to give you the temperature that they would reach at equilibrium so that you could establish a finer temperature value. I wouldn't expect you to just figure out what that would be based on the mole ratios of these things and their initial temperatures. 